Okay, good morning all. Welcome to Saturday morning, day six of the Cannonball Run. And we are headed out of Huron, South Dakota toward uh, Hot Springs, South Dakota. So we're not crossing any states today. We're staying in the state, but uh, we are hoping to uh, have a good ride. There's Ben taking off. Adrian's already bolting out of here. There's no way we can keep up with Ben. He's too quick. He's fast and light. <laughs> and Ben is going right. Adrian went left. I hope Adrian went left. Oh, I got stuck by traffic. I'm going. Okay, I'm rolling. <laughs> Hopefully I don't hit these red lights. Ben went the other way. So, back to uh, the intro. <laughs> We're fast and furious. It's getting competitive. You know, you start these things and you think, all right, well, you know, I'm just, I'm just out for a ride. I don't care. You know, if I get there, I get there. Hopefully I finish. But, you know, now it's like, hey, I'm actually doing good in the points. Let's, uh, let's try to do better. What can I do to do better? It's, it gets competitive. We're not winning anything. It's just bragging rights, but points are points, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, anyway, I'm going to save this battery because I don't have much charged. Uh, we've been running really long days, and all of our batteries are discharged. We don't have uh, any uh, extra capacity right now, so I'm on my last GoPro battery that's down to about 20%. Uh, I'm going to save it for... Hopefully some interesting stuff today, and uh, if I can find time to swap my battery packs around, then uh, I'm going to charge a few more batteries. But this is the road. Uh, we're going to have some hills and some elevation changes today, but I don't know that uh, it's going to be any fun. We'll find out. Okay, everybody. I haven't filmed or videoed many of these, but uh, this is uh, our routine for the Cannonball Run. We're in the middle of nowhere, South Dakota. Pretty much flat land. We're st finally starting to get a few hills, but it's just flat land. Anyway, this is the uh, routine. Every 100 miles, about 85 is what uh, what Adrian's getting before he's got to fill up. So uh, about 85 miles, we're stopping, filling the machines. So, yeah. Look at this farm off to the right. It's just thousands of acres of hay. It's all yellow. It's amazing. It's crazy. Okay, everybody. Welcome to uh, Badlands National Park in South Dakota. We just sat in a huge queue of traffic. It's Saturday, so yeah, tourist traffic. Uh, we're tourists too, so I can't uh, throw any stones. But look at those stones. Those are big old stones back there. Man. Our next uh, checkpoint, waypoint, I'm not sure if it's a uh, bonus or a check-in. Coming up quick. And we didn't have to pay an entrance fee because I have a National Parks Pass. I did pay for that, of course, but uh, there's no uh, per day fee uh, for us to get in. Everybody else was paying, so, okay. I don't know how much we saved. I guess we'll have to ask the other uh, riders how much they paid to get in on the bikes. But, anyway. Badlands. And I had my 10,000 mile uh, odometer moment uh, on the way here, just on the highway before we got to this. And took some pictures of that. 
grab my 99.99 and my 10,000. On an 80 mile an hour freeway, no less. Ew, that was really crazy. Uh, the route put us out there on the interstate that had a speed limit of 80, so everybody's ripping by 90 plus. Woo do you know what the name of the checkpoint is or what the item is? Viewpoint ahead. Yeah, they pull in a little trailer with that Miata. Cool. Wow, check out the rocks, man. Pretty cool. I wonder what it looked like before they paved it, you know? Uh, it's ahead, I think. Uh, maybe I just screwed up. I don't know. Yeah, can you get through? Okay. Are you coming? Can you come back in? I'm trying to zoom in on it and see where we go. Uh, yeah, we are in it now. You're going to go right there? Ew. Yep, this is what I'm doing right here. Wow, there's a bicycle stand here. Can you imagine riding a bike through this? Be cool, but a little daunting. Too much music playing in my head. Can't hear Adrian talking to me. Oh, come on now. Cannonball. Take check-in photo. And... I think that should suffice to say that, yes, I arrived. Try not to get run over. Do, 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 do. You stay over there. Keep. Come on. All right, enough of you. The app is uh, nice, but it's a little buggy. Sometimes it just hangs. Okay, then. I'm going to put some water in my hydration pack. Did you get your photos and all that? It's some kind of friggin' hot, man. Ugh, it is hot. Yeah, it's nice in here. Yeah. Badlands. I wonder how much of it they uh, carved out and built up, you know, like this road surface and all that. Obviously, this is elevated, so this was all terraformed in here. But when it was just all natural structures, imagine what it looked like. Check that out. Gotta look at the road, not over there, and I'll put my helmet over there.
too bad our uh, one of our starting or ending points didn't end here. It would have been great to camp here. Lens is clean on the camera. I can't even tell. I haven't taken off the helmet yet. My back is cramped. Oh. <sighs> uh, woke up with a crick in my neck and right shoulder today, and like my right trapezius is all bound up. Driving me crazy. It takes my microphone. Front of the line is definitely taking the scenic tour. 22 miles an hour in a 35. He wants to get all the money he paid for. Soak it in, buddy. Soak it in. It wasn't so bumpy. I was thinking it'd be a lot of fun to rip through here full speed on the Cubs <laughs> and just rail these corners. Not with these bumps, though. Might hurt them. Wow, he 
has really taken the scenic tour. Now it's no passing through the entire park. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I need to replace this chain tonight. It's uh, getting really lurchy. Uh, I think my slack is okay, but it's, it's just too loose. It's got too much wear. I might tighten it up and give it one more day, but I really don't want it to snap and bind up in there while I'm running freeway speeds. That could be a bad day, bad, bad day. When they snap, they can do damage uh, to your crankcase. Crack your uh, crankcase. Yeah, I've got 10K on this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it with a fresh one. I should certainly uh, make it home on the new one. Okay. Not even into the heat of the day yet, man. We're gonna get our asses kicked. But it's 12 o'clock, 12:10. Real heat of the day is gonna be around the three. Fossil Trail. Speed to cool off. My feet are cooking in his boots.
guys on those big adventure bikes for cheating. Anybody can do it on one of those. Come on, right up here on the cup. Show us how tough your butt is. <laughs> it's a serious gluteal fortitude here. These almost look like beach dunes right here. Beach dunes. Yep. Yeah, it looks like uh, Gulf Coast beach dunes. There must be something to look at over there. Oh, yeah, another canyon. Maybe we can see it. Oh, yeah, cool. Maybe we can see it as we go around the corner here. Nice. Run off the road. Yeah, you got the right idea. Oh, I got some airflow. Imagine trying to traverse this, you know, uh, Native American stuff, uh, traveling through some of these areas. Boy, that would be a heck of a thing. The hills and not much grip. Maybe that's how it got its name, Badlands. It's bad, don't go there. <laughs> You're gonna get stuck. You're gonna break down, don't go there. Not good for farming, not good for wagons or horses or anything. Not the only thing that could live out here and enjoy it would be uh, small rodents, birds, and uh, speed goats, antelopes, stuff like that. They don't mind the rocks, they'll climb anything. I wonder if these are like hard sandstone rock or if it's more powdery, you know? Yeah, it's probably like hard sandstone. I don't really want to stop and go digging at it. Huh. I don't want to keep moving, it's hot. They're coming in here to camp. That was a pop-up camper on the back of that gold ring. 
the spider that was following it had uh, his passenger seat loaded up with all kinds of stuff, so I think they're coming to camp. It's so weird how everything else, yeah, it's so weird how everything else is just grassland, uh, and that back there is so dense with uh, sandstone. It's got flat, grassy plains out here. Nothing wants to grow on that sandstone. Yeah, well, can't look at it too long or I'm gonna be off the road. Bury me in these here hills. Yeah, it's interesting. I wonder what the composition of the rock is that prevents the grass and everything from growing on it. Because you wouldn't think that the, the ground just right next to it would be so different. I almost forgot my gloves were doing it. Man, you could go out there and get lost and not be able to see your way out in some of these little canyons. We're deep down in there.
nice to look at some of the scenery through here, but <laughs> take your eyes off the road. Trying to really baby this chain because it's getting pretty slack and noisy. I think I might end up losing it today. I can't tell. Let me look. It's just kind of going straight right now. Yes, it does curve off to the left. So this is an absolute shit show today. The dirt and gravel roads in the park coming out of the Badlands are just awful, awful washboard. And it's so bad that it was vibrating all of the, uh, the mounts and threatening to throw the electronics clean off the bike. Uh, this is good right here by comparison. And uh, I'm just I'm tired of this shit. I'm getting out of here. Uh, Adrian and another scooter are back there going slow. It's, you know, uh, I'm not going to prolong this agony any more than necessary. I'm just going to get out of it. I need to get off the bike. I've got a, a real bad Charlie horse in my right, or sorry, my left leg uh, in my uh, hamstring. It's knotted up. It feels like somebody's got a hot knife twisting it, and I uh, need to get off the bike. The longer I'm on it, the worse it's going to be. Uh, so back to my motocross roots. I'm uh, just throwing this thing around, letting it slide, hoping I don't eat shit. We're going to find out real soon. These washboards. Yeah, we're still on the main course. Can you believe this shit? What kind of sick f*** does this to scooter riders? Anyway, Adrian was there with me for a second and it dropped out again. Uh... I've, I've got to get off of this and get off the bike. Uh, my pain threshold is just through the roof right now. I'm needing to get off for a few minutes. I woke up this morning with a real bad uh, a cramp in my uh, right trapezius muscle. Then I slept wrong or something, and it's been knotted up all day. And now my uh, left hamstring is knotted up. I'm just not having a good day. Getting the f out of this in this hands. Need to stand up, get off the bike for a few minutes, stretch it in and out, and then we'll continue on. We still have about 120 miles worth of this torture today. But this, this is f***ing ridiculous. Where shit goes off the rails if you're not paying attention. Ah, see, look at this violent, violent fucking washboard. Oh my god. I, uh, it's so bad that the bike loses control completely. You can't, there's no directional control. Fuck. These roads are awful. Son of a bitch. is not designed for this, does not have the suspension throw nor the tires. If it's going to break, it's going to break. You just want off. Push through this shit, never look back. Man, when does this shit show end? The miles of this we have to endure. This is crazy. Road 
never ends. He said there's a short gravel section. We've been on gravel now for over 25 miles. And not good gravel. This is decent. There's just washboard sections and giant holes all over the place. Okay, we finally got out of that shit show and now at least we're back on pavement. Oh, my leg is still in knots. I need, to, I need to find somewhere to stop, but we're so close to the end. If I can power through for another hour and a half, that's what I'm going to do. My leg is not happy with me right now. Oof. I've been eating uh, enough um, protein bars, granola bars, stuff like that. I probably need some more potassium. Maybe uh, potassium is uh, low and it's more of a muscle point. It's no fun, especially if you try to push through on a schedule like this. <sighs> I'm tired. We've had less than four hours sleep three days in a row. I'm start to get a little bit uh, tedious. But that is the endurance of Canada. I'm still trying to kind of relax my back and my butt for a moment, but the bike doesn't want to stay. And we're going downhill and with the wind, so I'm pulling an easy 63, 65 right now. It's a nice change. Because up to now, everything in South Dakota has been uphill and against the river. This is the first time we've had the wind at our back. I kind of like it. Okay, everybody, we're, we're uh, marching along on the highway here. We're about 60 ish. Uh, and it looks like we're going to need our rain gear. That's, uh, that's definitely a reason. We stop? Oh no, truck, yeah. Yeah. Two stroke. Probably seized it. So, yeah, we're gonna have to find a stopping point in a little bit. If we continue that direction, we're definitely gonna be in the rain. Stop and throw on the rain gear. So we're curving off to go toward Mount Rushmore. It's a shame to come all the way up here and not see that. I don't think it's on our list, but yeah, giant wooden bridge. Check that out. It is very wet. chain is pulsing really, really bad on deceleration. Got to change it to night. So this is the Black Hills National Forest. Very tight, twisty little park right here. There's 
tar in the middle and it's wet. Another wooden bridge. Ooh, this pavement is greasy. Right hand corkscrew this time instead of uh, the left hand that did. Oh boy, that's really bogging down even in second gear. Which way does it continue up? Yeah, it's still up. This report is going up to the top. So this is what we do. We're gonna to have to find a parking place on the other side. We can't take a picture of this sitting here in traffic. It's kind of a dumb thing. Cool. Just off to the side there, but really off to the side. Get as far off as you can. That way somebody doesn't come blasting through that tunnel and clock us. This is pretty steep. Maybe I just sit on the bike. No, I gotta get my uh, camera out. Is that a little turnout? Yeah, that's a turnout right there. I'm gonna go over there. Hope I don't get hit. Ooh. There we go. Now it'll stand up by itself. Figured as much.
get in a sec. Steep that drop is. There's roads right below us. On overloaded cubs, pulling trailers, on wet roads, and bald rear tires. See on your side there, fella. Well, he's really clipping that corner. You dealt with that all the way up from Houston. I see it. I see there's Mount Rushmore right there. 
I can only see it for a split second on that turn. Okay, great. Well, I don't got to see Mount Rushmore. Today to be done. 